Welcome to another Vlogmas day. Yep, back in my kitchen corner again. I think it's the only corner with um, a little bit of lighting. Um, if you can tell, off out for a run again. It's not degrees outside, everywhere is freezing. The school run was so slippy, so let's see how I go. Let's fingers crossed for no broken bones, but I'm sure I'll be fine. I have been out in much colder, much frostier weather before. Um, yeah, just doing some Christmas prep today. Got to make some mince pies because I am going to go and visit my dad tomorrow so I'm going to make him some fresh mince pies um, yeah, maybe do a bit of Christmas shopping not long to go I think I've got a little bit too much to do but anyway, it'll be fine let's not worry um, yeah, so I'm going to go for a run quick 5k this morning, not got time for much else and then get started with the rest of my day catch you later hey yeah, so all dressed already, had a shower had some breakfast, some nice scrambled egg on toast. I'm um, gonna be making mince pies today. Yeah, it's a labour of love, is it, David? Mince pies a labour of love? Hell. David thinks it's hell. I think the first few years I tried to make this, it, yeah, it kept going wrong. I think we've got it down now, yeah? So this is an old recipe that my grandma gave me. Yeah, it's all in ounces. Sorry if you want the grams, it's in ounces. Because um, it's my grandma, my grandma gave it me. She gave it me from memory. It wasn't a written down thing. It's just what she was doing for years and years and years. And as she got older and then obviously when she passed away, I have just continued to do it. So my family expect me to do it because she did it for years and years. So then it was my turn to carry it on when she got too old and unfortunately lost her sight. Yeah, it goes on. So I took over from where she left off. So this is her recipe. Um, there are other recipes out there. Go and check them out. People do it differently. Lots of different variations. So I make them from scratch. I make my short crushed pastry. I don't make the mincemeat. I'm sorry, I buy it. I don't have time. I barely have time to make this. So the mincemeat is from jars. So first of all, we're just making the short crushed pastry. So, rings off, because it gets a bit messy. Watches off, clean hands clean nails, clean everything. So we start off with 12 ounces of plain flour and that just goes in. Now this one's maybe a little bit strange. We need basically whatever flour you put in, you need half of that of fat. So we've got 12 ounces of flour and we've got six ounces of our fat. With it being a really old recipe, my grandma uses lard. Who'd have thought? No, well, actually what else we use lard for? roast potatoes. So this is what we do. I use three ounces of butter, three ounces of lard. It tastes lovely, the, but the pastry tastes really good. So all you need to do is throw it in. Yep. You can use just six ounces of butter if you want. Doesn't really matter. And just a tiny pinch of salt, just to add to a little bit more flavour, so a nice pinch of salt. So then what we do is make breadcrumbs. So I'm going to make your breadcrumbs. It'll probably speed it up and we'll show you what it's like at the end. So there we have it. We've got breadcrumbs. I did realise I forgot to tell you actually how to make it. This is kind of what it looks like. Sorry if it's not focusing. So basically you just have to mix, blend the butter and the flour together by just rubbing them together. Sort of like getting the flour and the fat and then just rubbing it together to resemble breadcrumbs. Now it needs to be butter that's not been in the fridge. So you need to have the butter and the, or the, and the lard out of the fridge for a bit so it's nice and soft. Otherwise you'd be there forever. So obviously this is not pastry. 
This is not what pastry looks like. So to bind the pastry together, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. You, um, you can add an egg. Some people add an egg. A lot of people, recipes don't suggest egg, but you can add egg or just simply add a couple of tablespoons of water to bind it together. Now, most recipes say about two to three tablespoons of water. Sometimes I find it, um, it's, it takes a little bit more than that. But the more you put in it, the less short your short crust pastry will be. So that's how flaky it is at the end. So we're just gonna put a couple of tablespoons of water to start with. And then what we need to do is bind it together. Now you can use a knife, hands are already dirty, just use your hands and then just try and roll it together like this. And then just, you know me and baking and cooking, it goes everywhere. Should have learnt that by now after the Christmas one, Christmas cake one, which is looking amazing. So there we have it, a nice ball of dough. God, my arms ache after that. I think I need to stand up to do that. So once you have got your dough like this, it needs to go in the fridge for 30 minutes at least 30 minutes to um, harden up before you can start rolling it. So I wrap it in some cling film and then put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. This is the challenge, the cling film. There you have it. Almost dropped it. That now goes in the fridge for 30 minutes. So I'll catch you in a minute. So left it for 30 minutes and it's now like this. It's now a solid, solid ball. Um, I have put the oven on to about 180, deg 180 degrees Celsius. I'm sorry, I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit. Yeah, you'd have to check it out. Um, to work with it easier, um, this is not gonna roll on this chopping board. So I'll just cut it in half or cut it into a little bit more just to make it a little bit more manageable. You can see it's a really short crust pastry just by it chopping up like that. So I'm just going to pop this to one side. What you need is a muffin tray, Yorkshire pudding tray around here. So yeah, something like that. You need to grease the tin beforehand. So I've got some butter which I'm just going to grease on here. So you can either just get some kitchen roll to do it or just use your fingers, whichever, and then just push it all the way around. Another bit that can be sped up later. There we go. All nicely greased. It just helps them to not stick and helps you get it out a little bit later on. You also need some cookie cutters. Just a bigger one and a smaller one. You need some more plain flour and rolling pin. So, get your flour and just sprinkle it on the board to stop it sticking. <coughs> Sorry, it didn't touch the mince pies. <laughs> Promise. Seriously. No food was harmed in the making of this. <laughs> There's no food here! <laughs> Didn't touch my hands or anything! <laughs> I felt like one brute, sorry. Jamie Oliver, eat your heart out. So, I'm probably gonna have to stand up for this one because I need some rolling action um, just to roll this out. So, I'm probably gonna be chopped off a bit. So just roll it out. I would sprinkle some on your rolling pin too. Now you should get at least 12 out of this pastry. Now 
it needs to be reasonably thin, but not too thick that your family complain they've got too much pastry. So I've got a fussy family. This lot though eats it. It's for my mom and my dad and yeah, and my brother. Broke. It's very short crust pastry. Maybe it needed a bit more water. This is why David thinks it's food hell. It takes me about four batches to get it right. Fingers crossed, get it right first time. So I've got my bottoms and then I can cut out some tops. Probably need to re roll it again. There we go. We have a bottom and a top. Now I'm just gonna get on and do all this. Right, fast forward this, but you don't need to see me do this repeatedly. Talk about it after repeatedly. There we go. Got 12, eventually. We've still got quite a bit of, a little bit of pastry left, so we will be able to make a few more, a few extra. Maybe I could just reduce the recipe a little bit, but we'll make them a bit thicker. Right, so here is my pre-lined dish. The only thing I haven't got is an egg wash. Maybe my, um, or a milk wash. Maybe my glamorous assistant might help me out. So all you do is put these into the tins. Now these are quite deep muffin tins. So I will just pop them in and see how we go. As if by magic, a glamorous assistant brings me some milk. So we have done them in, um, and they're there. I really can't remember if I've used these, this tray before. It's not new, but... Oh well. I might need to refill. It might be a disaster. Because... The trays are really deep. I think gonna get getting them out might be the issue. We'll see. We push them in a bit, make them nice and round, and then you pop the mincemeat in. So, like I said before, I bought some store-bought mincemeat. <laughs> this one. On tech. Flour. Maybe I need to go to the gym a bit more. And then a good sized teaspoon. This is a, obviously a, a dessert spoonful in here. So I don't like to overfill them because then they like come out of the edges and everything, but my dad complains there's not enough filling. So does my brother. But then they don't make them, do they? Voila. Just a quick thing. Are any American friends out there watching? If they are, do you guys eat mincemeat? Do you actually know what it is? Because it's not like mince, as in meat. <laughs> it's a mix of apple dried fruit which makes a delicious sweet filling. Yeah, just dried fruit with apple slices and things in it. it smells incredible. It smells very Christmassy. I just wondered if it's in the States or not, I don't know. Then we just have to put the tops on. I think these are gonna look great, but I'm not gonna be able to get them out. Hopefully I can, because I've the tin but also okay. and just use a little bit of milk I don't know why it's giving me a full Santa sized glass and just put some milk on the top or you can use egg beaten egg I just there we 
and it gives them a nice shiny top. So then these go into a hot oven at about 180 degrees. Depending on your oven, I'd just keep an eye on it um, roughly for about 12 minutes, if not a little bit longer. I would just, it just really oven dependent. I don't, yeah, our oven's not very good. So I'd just keep an eye on them from about 12 minutes. It needs to be bubbling and kind of nice and golden on top. That's it. So they are ready to go in the oven. So they've just come out of the oven and just listen to that noise. I hope the camera picks the sound up. So hot, bubbling, all nice and golden. I think it probably took around 20 minutes. Yeah, I checked my timer at about 18. Oh well, 15 to 20 I'd say, and then I'll just keep checking them periodically. Some of them are quite well filled as you can see, they're popping out a little bit. You just need it to press them down a little bit more. We'll just wait for them to cool down a little bit and then we'll take them out. So here they are, I have got them out of the oven and successfully out of that tray. I think we had one breakage. That's because the pastry, like I said, is really short. I think if you put it with an egg, yeah, the pastry wouldn't be as, as fine as it is. But who cares? I think this one definitely needs trying in a minute, but it's gonna be far too hot. They look delicious. They're certainly not deep filled like you get at the shops, but we love them around here. Well, I do. They just need some sprinkling of icing sugar. I have got a couple more in the oven because the pastry made about 18 roughly. Um, yeah, so that's my first batch done for this year. Let's probably another one to go for another side of the farm. I can totally justify buying this now in Ikea. Look how amazing that is. Look how beautiful they look. Mince pies are all done. I am just taking David to the pharmacy. I'm trying to get him some fresh air. Even though he's just gonna get in the car and I'm gonna drive. But yeah, he's gonna get out of the house for a second. Can you hear that coughing? Come here. Just to the absolute state of him. I wish I knew a barber that could come and sort his hair out because he looks dreadful. Might make you feel a bit better. Yeah. Nip to the pharmacy, then go and pick the kids up from school. I have got quite a lot to do because I didn't realise how late it was. I've still got to get to the shops. Um, Harry's got beavers, he's got a Christmas party at beavers. And yeah, got loads, still got loads to do. I'm gonna make some fudge tonight. So yeah, <sighs> busy life. So this is the Christmas cake. Oh, I wish you had smell a vision on this. Looks like the lighting's really bad. I promise you, this isn't burnt. <laughs> We're gonna feed it for the very last time because I'm gonna be icing this bad boy on Friday or Saturday. Probably Saturday, knowing me. Got lots to do still. We just poke a few more holes in it. <sighs> it smells amazing. Get some more holes going through it. Get right to the bottom. And then the all important brandy. Ugh, can't really do this one handed. There we go. Got some nice brandy. Oh, it's definitely not one for me, one for the cake. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. This is the last time I'm gonna be feeding it. So Harry is at Beavers, David and Emily are at home. I am just wandering around one of the retail parks. I've got an hour to pick Harry up, so just getting a few little bit of little bits of stuff done. Time for Hobbycraft. 
This place is dangerous. I could spend so much money in here. Do you think David will let me get this one? Go on. No, you want to. I don't think they do it in double though. They do. Go on, you know you want it. An hour really isn't a very long time to go and get some shopping done and hit about three or four shops. Yeah, um, I made the mistake of trying to go to Dunelm for 10 minutes. There's not enough time to go to Dunelm in 10 minutes. No. So anyway, I think this is where I'm gonna end the vlog. I'm just gonna go pick up Harry, then I'm gonna head home for my dinner. It's been a long day and I still haven't got everything done, but that's the life of a mum. So thanks for watching another Vlogmas um, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Don't forget, click like and subscribe. I always forget this bit. I'm totally rubbish. Everyone else is like, drop a comment, follow me on Instagram. I barely can say click that like button. We'll start again. Don't forget to click that like button and subscribe if you don't already. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you again soon. Bye.